My name is uh, Pastor F. A. Oyewu. I have passion for change, and I can see a lot of poverty going on, especially by my own job as a pastor. There are so much poverty in the church, people cannot feed. So I took it upon myself, I gathered a group of widows and the ladies in the church, and I believe I need to help them. So I know the only thing is, for a leader, I must be a leader by example. So anything I want to teach them, I go out first, acquire the knowledge, and transfer the knowledge. So like this Friday, by His grace, I am starting soap with my group. So that is why I'm here, to help government and the economy. But what brought me here to Firo is, I missed my way to Navdak. I've learned how to do soap outside, and I went to Navdak for registration, and they gave me so many things that I can really cut my throat. So it was from most of the okay, let me just go to Firo. Whatever I get to Firo should give me a standard that can really remove Navdak issue from my neck. So I just walked in. I came in just a Friday before the Monday that the training started. So, and I came in, he said, what was my problem? He said, my problem was NAVDA. What can you remove NAVDA? Because if I want to go by NAVDA issue, I don't think I can do anything. But when I came here, through the lecture, through the teaching, through everything, I think that fear is gone, and I know I can start with something. Have me pastor, I have a church that I pastor. Friday night, we are doing so, even in our watch night, to tell the young people and the widows that are there that they can be up to something, that the hope is not lost. So I'm doing it and starting on Friday by His grace. Like this soap that we have learned, I can start with the bucket in my house. I can start with a, a normal wood stirrer. So my advice to the youth is, though there's I have problem with the youth, even I said it on TV and on radio, their problem is football. Football and all this extra cool and all this nonsense are taking over their, their heads. They don't think right again. They waste their time on these things. So my advice to the youth is there are so many things that they can engage their time on that can be profitable. And the widows that are shouting that they don't have people, they don't have help, 5,000 can help them with Furo's concept. I can bear them a witness. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you very much. I am Quincy Olasombo Ayodele, the MD of Quincy, the Harbour Slimmers. Came to Firo for the training of, soap, of laundry soap making. Um, I've been doing soap making locally, you know. But now I, I want to mass produce. I want to be one of the indigenous soap makers in Nigeria at that level because I discovered that there are a lot of these foreign soap, soap, you know, in Nigeria. And we want to, to be part of those that will step down the foreign soap, so foreign laundry soap in Nigeria so that the indigenous soap makers from Nigeria can actually come out at that level, the quality level that Firo has taught us here. The most important thing in soap making that we have learned here is to meet up with the foreign, with the quality, the standard of these so-called foreign, uh, foreign soap makers. And they have given us the formula, they have taught us of how to meet up and even surpass that quality. And I want to be part of that quality making uh, soap makers from Nigeria and as a Nigerian. So we want to start mass producing soaps that we used to do at local level with high quality standard. So that at least I can be able to come out and say to any foreign soap maker to say that Nigeria belongs to us, allow us to develop our country and then we can go from there. It's like they taught us in Faro at this training that you don't have to wait until you have millions to start your soap making. You can start even uh, your soap making with 5,000 Naira as they have taught us. So just make a little bit of savings and start even at your own home after the training, after the Faro training. Once you have the Faro training, you don't have problem with uh, NAFTA registration because they know that they are giving you that uh, quality training and you'll be able to meet up with the standard, the expected NAFTA standard. So just a little bit of stipend can be able to start your business for you and then it can help to eradicate poverty. Like they told us here that within the next one or two days we should start making soap anyway at whatever level. 
You understand? And we should start little by little. So my advice is you don't wait until you have millions of naira to start producing your soap. So Mr. President should please fund viral more than this. You should please give them, I mean, uh, enough uh, funding so that at least we can be able to meet up with the expected economic growth for Nigeria. They are doing very well though. The level of lectures they gave us here is like even more than masters in university. All the lecturers were okay. I mean, we, 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 we gained a lot of training in that soap making. So our government should, you know, put more emphasis on developing FIRO, even more than how it is. They already developed, I can see, but they should, they can do more by funding them in the area of um, these workshops, seminars, and um, we, want to, we want the NEPA to be constant, we want their toilets to be clean, we want everything because it's a lot of work they are doing here. And the staff should also be more adequately compensated for the, for the type of job that they have actually, the type of training they have given us. And we will appreciate it. Uh, but number one, I'm going to be back again anyway for other trainings that FIRO, that FIRO offer here. They have given us their list. I'm coming back for extraction of essential oils because we have a lot of uh, seeds here in essential oils here that we should be able to know how to extract without having to travel abroad. And of course, I'll tell everybody that you know needs to know that they should come for training, you know, at Faro, so that we can be able to have a lot of producers of uh, either soap making or even I saw cassava making uh, in their. In their, um, in their schedule, I saw um, pande jam making, I saw palm wine bottling, I saw every, all these indigenous things that we used to take for granted. They have training for them here. So we should all, uh, we're, we're encouraged to come, and it's not even expensive. So why can't we come? So we should all come and train so that at least we can uh, put a lot of um, impact on the economic growth of Nigeria. And then we can be there very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. My name is Dr. Mrs. Toby Ayodeleke. Um, I actually work as a consultant at Quincy River Slimmers. And um, we were looking into mass producing quality, good quality soaps that can compete or even exceed the level of the um, foreign imported soaps that are in Nigeria today. Surprisingly, I think Firo should be more advertised. It wasn't as advertised as I thought it should be for the level of work that they do here, for the level of education and knowledge that they impart on, on people, on me, on everybody that came for this workshop. I feel that um, it needs to be more, 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 more advertised than how I, I got knowledge of it. I did learn about the laundry soap making technology um, using the manual technique, the manual manually operated technology uh, machine technique, and um, I felt that um, it was well taught, it was well explained, um, and I really enjoyed everything about the workshop. It was a short but very, um, very concentrated workshop, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I feel that it's something that will allow me to take our business to the next level. Yeah. I think it's very important for young people to learn to know that you can start with any small amount. That's not the first thing. The second thing is not to wait to be a basketball player or a soccer player or you know wait until I become a, a doctor. I mean, there are several of us in the medical field out there that have to um, do business, which is more lucrative than even working in an office or whatever it is, or wait till I'm, I'm in the oil business, or, you know. I think with any little thing, if for instance with this soap technology, you can start with very, very, very little startup income, very, very little materials, very little everything, and build your, your business that way. Um, it's good to have some form of income so that you're more independent, or even your parents, or whatever it may be. You can have that income to to further your education, you can have that income to afford certain necessities of life. Um, and it will reduce the rates of, oh, I want to be, you know, stealing or 419. Or, 
you know, random things like that. And you should not look at any business as too little for you. It does not matter what the business is. Then we have so many people in Nigeria that are willing to, that we have a lot, we have a big population in Nigeria. So if you sell one naira worth of something to each person in Nigeria, that's like 160 million naira already. So just, you know, start small and, you know, um, have hard work and motivation and you'll make it. So I would definitely recommend um, Firo to my friends, definitely, I already started doing that. I recommend it to even people that we work with. Um, it's a very, very good um, place to learn, a good place to learn new things and learn new practical things that you can use to better yourself. So um, definitely, definitely, it needs more, we need more, they need more funding here, obviously, and I feel that this should be We need more funding, they need more funding from the government, local, private sector, public sector. They should, FIRA should be on the same level that the um, petroleum ministries are, if not better, because it's, a, it's a, an opportunity to provide a bigger economic growth to the country than even oil, if you think about it. We have a lot of bio resources, we have a lot of bio resources, and we have a lot of human resources. And I feel that if the government focuses more on getting the land to work for itself, we can, we can, we can get rid of a lot of issues that we have in Nigeria today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too.